Okay, so the first question is, what did you want to accomplish when you first started the self-advocacy movement? To find myself. And what I mean by that is, you know, I never considered myself have a disability. I was in that stage of uh, denial, where not, I guess, that or not knowing, not, not knowing. Okay. And why did you get involved in the self-advocacy movement? Well, when I got go, uh, first, it was excitement and traumatic brain injury when I got to know more about it and development of disability, the more ex hunger I got and more, I want to do this, I want to do this. And that's when I met you, Tia, and Essie. And I just, I, it's like cherry pie. Could quit. So what was your passion in the beginning? What were you excited about? Uh, well, after I you know, was doing it, it's, I wanted to start a group. I, you know, was trying to get people to, um, get more involved to find to find themselves because the more I got in it's like come on come on we got to get a group here we got to get a person a group that know what they're doing okay so how did you organize then how did I organize yes it took a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of uh, yelling at people. They're like, you cannot, because I wanted to call our group Wolfpack, where wolves hunt together and they're 100% of their kills. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that. You, t you can't do that. And at first, I was so mad. It's like, me, Tia, you know me, the more you tell me no, the more I'm gonna come back in your face. <laughs> okay, and how did you work with other groups in the beginning? Share, just share. Um, and be willing, you got, you got to be willing to listen to their ideas mm -hmm. and, you know, and share your ideas with other groups. Mm -hmm. And then how did you get them excited about being a part of everything? First, it was party. <laughs> Let's dessert, cake. <laughs> and then slowly we started to like a tire, you get rolling and they, they start to get, yeah, excited about it. Mm -hmm. And then how did you organize people to fight for the same issues? Show them the negative. You, uh, you're like, if you don't do this, you can lose your services. Where if you do that, it, so did that answer that quite? Yeah. Uh huh. And over time, you know, you've been doing it for a while. How do you keep people wanting to come back and be excited about things? And you got to show that your excitement. You got to be. You know, you just, and this is where Big Mouth come into play. You know, I had a lot of people, you're cutting yourself down. No, I'm not. I have a big mouth and I love to talk. 
Okay. And what would you like to see for self-advocacy in the future? Use the technology, one, use the technology. Um, for example, Roosevelt, they have their um, movies. Well, now they started to, they started to, um, you know, advertise. And I would, you know, I'm still working on it, but I went, that's kind of cool if you have people first or disabilities on that. Mm -hmm. And we can also use that as not say the L word. So using technology and the opportunities you have. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to tell us? You know, I think I said, you got to learn yourself. Well, the two years, well, eight years, but two years as president, I learned, I learned about personalities. And, um, the, the thing is, you got to work as a team. If you're fighting, you know, like one group saying this, and next group you're saying that, your legislators, they're like, well, you guys can't make up your mind. So why should we listen? So if we, again, the Wolfpack come together and work as a team, the will do more, I call it damage. We'll get out there more and the legs of light, oh, we better start listening to them. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.